process, man, to get creative? Like, do you have a routine that you do? Like, you know what I'm saying? You're about to go lay down a track, or do you get inspired from, like, something you hear or something you see? Like, how, how do you come up with your, your track? You know what I'm saying? It comes with the, see, the, it can be something like you're going through your emotion, or the, really the motivation. Or like, I like the beat, I like the vibe with it, you know? Yeah, and it can be something I want to. And I'd be, like, looking at the motherfucker I can help. Like, so you can be wherever you can. It was the motivation the youth, you know, telling the next generation you can be wherever, no matter where you come from, what you gotta go through every day. So I didn't motivate. Every day, that's where it comes from, motivate. Trying to help somebody. Do you feel like in, in, in Chicago, like, people are just too diverse and like, who they hang around with from size and shit, like, instead of just coming together? <coughs> Cause there's, there's a lot, like music, there's a lot of people that tell it out there in Chicago, dog, and just the vibe wise. I don't know how it goes in the streets, but like, you, I, I feel like the power of music, man, if everybody can set that aside and just fucking come together and make money, like, you know what I'm saying? Peace and so young, the youth, the, the new way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if it could be about business over the things, but they'd be like too far ahead to even go. But there's so much talent, of course. But once it gets to that order, like if we had like a Atlanta here to put it aside, but it's never really a get like that. But musically, the shit that they rapping about is so real, so it make it, it can't be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's just too much adding up in one thing. Yeah, yeah. You feel like uh, the music industry has a lot of creative control over our music going on now? Yeah. It's, what, it's like the average, you know? Mostly everybody that's growing around like a jungle, like everybody will be. Yeah, yeah. Coming to your album, I fuck with the I Remember track, man. If you people don't fuck with it, it's gonna rock and hard. Go check it out on iTunes. Yeah, good track, But the new, the new single you got coming, you got a new, you got a new album coming out soon? For this new yeah. single that you just done? It's gonna be called Spurgeon Lambs 3. That's why I'm gonna drop. I don't like January 3rd. But I'm really putting out a single that, like, before I started. Next thing gonna be this year. Then I'm gonna drop a hustle. So I got the three line up, just getting the creative part done. But I'm already planning to drop something new, like this January. I'm trying to put for December, but most of the time it's gonna be You always been a writer? Yeah. I always been writing, writing, writing. Writing it always come easy. Writing is easy. I can write about anything in seconds. Like a song, I don't need to take that long to put down. Once you get a beat? Huh? Once you get a beat? Once I get the beat, it's on. It, you know? it so you 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 make like you said you made this whole album. Let's get back to that. Yeah. Uh, you said you made this in the basement. Yeah, you were using rock band, you said. Straight from the drop, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I definitely had a fucking key for it. I still was mixing. So go back to that man. At the time, at a point in time in your life, um, where you're at now, was that like your your worst right there? And you just had nothing worse going on, or you just had fucking just try to do it? At that time, I was even trapping downtown. At that time, so I was trapping in and out. I was set up leases. I was trapping downtown. I was trapping in and out. I was decent at that time, but I was in the back of the version room. That's where we had to record it. My cousin basement. You know, and I wasn't fussing with him on that time. So y'all been bros for a long time. You move out, move out, since the building, man. He in the back. We gonna set up the desk so he come on here and tell us on the side. Yeah, we been locked up for a while. It's like my boy, my son, man. That's what's up, man. So you kind of like took him under the wing, kind of thing, showed him the ways. Actually, we're creative, man. Yeah, music, we speak, whatever. However, you wanna put that cup. So you, you all independently, man? It's all, like, you own everything, you master so far, everything, like, yeah. everything, so everything? So what's up with the new video you guys are doing? You, about, you got to shoot a picture right after this, man. What are you going to do with that? I'm shooting with that. I'm shooting with me. This fucking bros who ain't here with me. I had to face that they gone for too long. Should be killing me. Damn. But the odds show no sympathy. Every day we all shopping up the scroll. They ain't hearing me. We just dropped class at Apple Five. Then I'm dropping from where I started. Then we got some more shit with Wap, Blue. So it's just all October through November. All these months we just gonna be trying to drop every Friday. I got a feature coming too. 
my boy Peso Peso, so you already know, shout out to you, real TF family with Solid Walker now. So I got a lot of things coming in. If you look for beef, that be all the shots. My niggas run a K, that be all the blocks. Niggas ain't getting no money, we get all the guac. We be getting the money, we be ducking all the law. I'm on my wrist, trap shit, we be serving out the law. I got the yo up on my shirt, we come from a different club. Who's who shooting your video today? Shout him out, man. Who is he at? Who is he at? We should leave it in the street. He already shot one with Rock, man. He shot Blue, so he been locked down. That's what's up, man. Thank you for coming through. And, uh, Seth, anything else you want to say to these people, man, before you? What can we, what can we get into with that? People don't even know nothing about you. So let's get the creative side that makes you who you are today. Let's you know? talk about that first. Obviously, behind closed doors, like getting, getting your mold. You know? <laughs> like, uh, how, what makes you? What's your? Do you listen like blues? What kind of music do you listen to other than rap? I listen to like soul. So I like silly cut a lot. I listen to a lot of old things. But you know the now and I listen to a lot of now and like more to be the now like you know what I mean? Uh did, did your grandparents or parents used to listen to old old school music? No. Y'all yeah, got an album coming together? You and Mufasa with some features together? Yeah. We got something in the works. We're going to put something together. At least an EP. At least something? Yeah. A little, little, little snippet of what's a coming? Snippet. The Thunder? We definitely got a couple of singles coming, so we're going to definitely put it like it in with the EP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that song we open up with, uh, from where I step started. Talk about that. When you start, what, what made you start writing that, the lyrics for this song? That was really just to tell them you know, everything you know, from why I started. It really pulled out of our man, you know. From why I started, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't easy. Like, it just ain't come, this ain't just an easy part of one man, you know. All that shit came out. So from why I started, just blew up. You know? Yeah, you yeah. gave it to it. Then I shot the video on the legs, you know. You, you got kids? Yeah, I got three. Three of them? I'm four right now. I ain't gonna mix it, I got five, huh? <laughs> <laughs> how old is yours, man? How old is your son? How old is it? Is it a boy or girl? It's a boy. It's my daughter. Got your heart in it. Three girls. Yeah, man, I got three girls. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I got three girls. Four. One of them right now, she's a little brat. But anyway, back to the real side. So I always do this or two, like talking to the reality. Family life, like does that get in the way for you? Like, cause family time for me, I'm, it's always a way. Like, I'm always grinding, always working with other people. Like, I be going to land and shit, fly back and forth. And I'm grateful that I have a strong woman now. I'm out here with that shit. You know what I'm saying? But family time, we come with bro. You know these things that make time. But at the same time, it's business. Business it's like a job. You yeah, know? yeah. You have to work 12 hours straight. You're gonna get that. So the same thing matters, man. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get there and really work. I gotta push. Yeah. 
Fucking summer and just tear it up. Tear it up. that whole bag. <laughs> Tell them, Sweden, get tapped in, man. Tap in, my boy. Let them know where they can get a hold of you, man. Email them. Give them that shit. Email me at bookandrearrock at gmail.com. I'll tap in any promoters trying to book me out there internationally. You know, definitely tap in. That's for next year. That's your little paper, man. Oh, what happened with that? Got a little case, man. Can't talk about that, right? Uh, it's cold, man. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Moving forward. 